did you get this dress? Oh, it's oh. him! Quick, Dad! The brush! I'm coming, I'm coming! Here it is! Here it is! I've got it here! The brush, the brush, the brush. The brush. Oh, okay. okay. Turn easy. Okay, easy. There you go. Here we go. There you go. My God, you look beautiful. Thanks, Dad. I hope he likes me. I hope you like him. Hi, I'm Fred, the date. These are for you, doll. Thank you. Uh, I'm Steve, Jesse's dad. Hi. This is Mrs. Mill. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mouth jewelry. Huh? Oh, right, my braces. Uh, my wife's from Holland, so they... Uh... Sure. Oh, you wore flats. Great. So, have a great time. Yeah. So we safe with me, sir. Bye. Did that kid looks shifty to you. <laughs> Daddy, do you have any idea what your son the pig did at school today? Freeze. Speak. He told Jerry Kendall I used to be a Siamese twin. Rob. I said it was just a rumor. Rumor? Two girls in gym asked to see my scar. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Share smoke, broken. dress before you realize I'm not gonna wear this dress? Look, this is the wardrobe. Jenna, we're all set. We have a problem. She won't wear her dress. I hate it. It's a beautiful dress. Any girl would love to put it on. Okay, first of all, I'm not any girl. Second of all, I don't spend two hours a day on the Stairmaster to wear a dress that comes down to my ankles. I want it shortened. We don't have time for that. Let me try this again. I have to be in this dress for the last third of the movie. And all I'm saying is if it doesn't get shortened, there will be no last third of the movie. Walk away. so cool. I don't care if you are the best lay I've ever had in my life. I hate your guts anyway. Don't say that. And I don't care if you did give me ten orgasms in a row because because you smell really bad. No, I smell really bad because we've been having so much sex and 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 I haven't showered and, and I want to shower. So don't you go be an all super sexy guy anymore because, because I am now impervious to your unrelenting machismo and sexual ardor. And that includes fucking me in the ass. 
So there! You know who really loves animals? Fez. He does? Yeah. Water under the bridge. Great. I've really been meaning to call you. There has been some super exciting news with the project. Three words. Evan Rachel Wood. Okay. She's gonna play you in the Aaron Eccles story. Name change since you and your dad won't sign the release forms. It's such a great part. It, it was all over the trade. You didn't see it? I don't know how I missed it. You should audition for the play. Oh, you can audition using anything. Frankly, we need some pretty girls. Yeah, thanks anyway. I can't act. Oh, acting's overrated. You've got presents, sweetie. Listen, we'll catch up later. Right now, my company needs me. Oh, the play is my master and I am its whore. <laughs> I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you When I go out Yeah, I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you If I get drunk Well, I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you And if I heave up Yeah, I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the man who's heavering to you But I will walk five hundred I can tell that some positive changes have taken place since our last session. What's going on? When we left here, I began to make that list you suggested. Uh, I dug really deep, and I realized the main reason I was attracted to Courtney was because her family was rich. Perhaps you were looking to Courtney to provide emotional security. Well, mostly, I just liked the fact she drove a Porsche. And I realized what I liked about Lloyd was that he wasn't rich. I knew that if I married him, it would really piss off my father. <laughs> Excuse me? Once we were finally honest with each other, it was like this huge relief. So we've decided to get a divorce. And we just wanted to come here in person to thank you. To thank me for what? If it wasn't for you, we could be stuck in a lousy marriage for years without knowing any better. Please don't mention it. Oh, I just got four winks on Match.com. I already got a date. Martinis? Absolutely not. I'm not going anywhere near you in a martini. Why not? Ooh. Ooh. 
No, it would be stupid if we made out. <laughs> that would be so stupid. Hey, I dare you guys to dare us to make out. Every time. I only say that because it would be so stupid if we did. <laughs> so stupid. Uh huh. I'm gonna be the man who comes back home to you. And if I go, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's going over you. But I would do a five hundred. Hi, Mr. McCarthy. I wanted to give you my January rent in case I'm crying too hard to come down and give it to you later. Okay. Thanks, Pam. Wait. Pam, what's the matter? My boyfriend came over last night. Thought he was gonna propose. Instead, he dumped me. <laughs> anyway, happy holidays! Pam, you poor thing. Why don't you join us for Christmas Eve? That would be nice. Thank you. No, but wait, Pam. Take your check back. Really? Yeah, because on the first of the year, the rent goes up 3%. You forgot. <laughs> Bring it on Christmas Eve. To all of you. Tomorrow is the big day, but tonight is for the people we love the most. Give it to me, boy, of your devotion. I just want everything to be perfect. How many times do I have to tell you, babe? Perfection does not exist. Do you think they'll make it? They just seem so different, don't you think? In some ways. I mean, this entire weekend could be a complete disaster. Well, it'd be a shame to see your head explode before I hear you say I do. So, are you seeing anyone? Wow, we're gonna open with that, huh? Well, I mean, I said, how are you first. Oh, you did, yeah. Yeah. Bradley and I chipped in and got you a little something. What is it? Turn around. <laughs> Surprise. We have a lot to catch up on. And a lot to put behind us, too. I'm dying to hear more about you and Christopher. Daniel, you're in a relationship, not a competition. You say the sweetest things. Look, I know you're disappointed with me. You don't trust me, because you're deciding what I need to know and when I need to know it. Mr. Holier Than Thou? Then, then what about you and Jacob? The idea of spending the rest of your life with one person. What you guys are doing is not smart. I don't know what to do. I mean, why does absolutely everything need to be said? After tomorrow, everything changes. You guys ready? <laughs>